If you build games on Scratch, then most likely you have points or a score system. And if you want players to keep coming back to your game, then you need to have a high score variable. Well, how do you do that? Well, you need to have access to cloud variables. Scratch only lets you create cloud variables if you are a scratcher. How do you become a scratcher? Well, you need to have at least two projects and you need to love and comment and favorite a couple other projects and have been using Scratch for at least two weeks. Now let's look at this super basic game that I've created that has a score variable and the score increases when I press the space bar. There, so I'm at 10 clicks right now, so my score is 10. Well, let's go ahead and create a cloud variable for the high score. So click make a variable, and this will be a cloud variable, and we'll call it high score. Click OK. Now remember, Scratch only remembers numbers in cloud variables. You can't do letters or any type of symbols. At the beginning of the game, we don't want to set the high score to zero because that will erase the old high score. So what you want to do is say, when the game starts, set the high score to whatever value is sitting on the server. And that's held right here. And you can see the cloud symbol on it. So we'll set high score to high score. Right now, the high score doesn't have a value. It's just zero, because that's what all scratch values are when you start. And we'll check now. From now on, we'll check to see if our score is higher than the high score. So we'll need to go in operators, and we'll get the greater than operator. Then we'll go back into variables, and we'll say if my score is higher than the high score, then we will set the high score to, guess what, my score. <laughs> Was that confusing or what? But it kind of makes sense, right? My score is greater than high score, so set high score to my score. <laughs> I could say that a million times, it'd be so fun. Okay, so we need to put this inside of an if statement. We'll say if, if my score is greater than high score, set high score to my score. And then we need to put this anywhere will it will run and check. And in this case, we want it to check every time I press the space bar. Okay, so let's try it now. Oh, wait a minute, why is the high score going up? Because nobody's ever set the high score. And in this case, I'm setting the high score. So now, watch this. I'm gonna refresh the game. My score is zero, but the high score is still there. And it won't actually change until I reach that amount again. So that's how high scores work. Add high scores to your game, or if you're not a scratcher, hurry up and make some games. I can't wait to see what you build.